Problem number 51, Wastewater Collection Study Guide from SewerGeek.com. A trench is 8 feet wide by 11 feet deep by 1,725 feet long. A 27-inch sanitary sewer is going to be installed in this trench. 18 inches must be left out at the top for concrete. How much backfill will be required to fill that trench? Well, let's take a look at what we got. Um, let's do some simplification first. Everything's in feet. 27 inch sanitary sewer. We're going to go, we're going to turn that into feet. 27 divided by 12 is going to be 2.25 feet. 2.25 foot sanitary sewer. 18 inches, and I'll do it anyway. 18 inches divided by 12 is going to be 1.5 feet. 1.5 feet must be left out at the top for concrete, presumably for a roadbed. So now that we simplified, we'll take a look at the units. We're going to need cubic yards. And what do we know about cubic yards? There's a conversion. One cubic yard equals 27 feet cubed, because that's going to be 3 by 3 by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So we've got that. Then we're going to, let's go ahead and draw this trench. And we'll pretend it's to scale. That's going to come down like that. And then we're going to put a sewer in the middle of it. That's what our trench is going to look like. And there's our 2.25 foot diameter sewer. So what we're going to do is figure out the volume of this trench, but we've also got to come down take this out right here 1.5 feet so my trench is 8 feet wide this way 1725 long this way and how deep is it? 11 feet but we're going to take away 1.5 feet. So that's 11 feet, and that's going to be 9.5 feet this way. So let's figure out what we've got here. We'll figure out the volume of this trench for the backfill, and that's going to be 9.5 feet by 8 feet by 17 25 feet. Let's see what we get. 9.5 times 8 times 17.25 is going to give me 131,100 feet cubed. We could turn that into yards and I'll, I'll wait. That's going to be the trench. Now I got to do the pipe. The pipe is going to be diameter squared times 0.785 times the length. So I'm going to get 2.25 squared times 0.785 times 1725. Let's see what that's going to get me. 2.25 times 2.25 to square it times 0 0.785 times 1725 6,855 feet cubed and that's how much the pipe is going to take up so now I'm going to subtract the two 131,000 minus 625 I'll just subtract them like that. And I'll 
I'll just make that a negative in the calculator. Whoops. 131 100 minus 6855. Five. That's going to give me That's going to give me the wrong buttons. 131 100 minus 6855. Five. That's going to give me 100 24,245 feet cubed. Now I don't know why they didn't put that in there for us to grab it because we need to turn that into cubic yards. And so I'm going to go divide it by 27 feet cubed per yard cubed. And I'm going to end up with feet cubed canceling out and I'm going to end up with yard whatever that that's supposed to say yards cubed. So divided by 27 it's going to give me 4,601.7 or 4,602 would be close enough yards cubed and that's going to be a